Okay, we've got the the core is firmly mounted onto the uh, bottom end plate. And I've got these <coughs> nuts and washers back off of here. And it's held down. Um, and also I inserted the rotor and I adjusted the height of the rotor and locked it in using the, uh, the set screws uh, or grub screws on the bearings on the bearing flanges so that that keeps the rotor and stator at the same level here so that the steel all lines up so that's mounted in there um, it's just just sitting in the bearing right now and the bearing bolts are loose so I'm going to show the shims going in here. Uh, the only thing we have to remember is the orientation here. Is this, the slots are here, so we're going to be doing these these two with the shims. So it would be like this. So the the grooves are in place, so I can pull the shims out. So, I'm going to insert the shims in here. I have them, it's the, the pole pieces are inch and a half wide. I made these shims about 1.6 so there's, so they go all the way across for sure. Put them down in there straight. Make sure that the rotor is centered. On the pole piece. Have to be careful this this thin steel is sharp. So you don't want to hold the edges of it. Just making sure they're going all the way to the bottom and centered this way. Okay, those are in place. We're going to put the other end plate on and line up the slots where the, where the flanges or the uh, shims are. Okay, that goes in place nicely. We'll replace these nuts again. So the end plate is down tight and we make sure everything's aligned. Okay, we're going to tighten the end plate down to 65 inch pounds of torque on these. Now I've already um, tightened these bearings in place. I had it assembled and uh, put it together. I already tightened these down but normally when you're doing this the uh, bearing bolts will be loose now. The hardware would be in place but not tightened so that <clears throat> when the shims are in there the rotor will self-align. Um, and then when, when you get the shims in there, um, you tighten the bearings down. And <clears throat> starting at the, starting underneath, which is really the reason for using this table like this. Um, <clears throat> because it has that split in the middle. Then you can come in with the wrench underneath the table, right in here, and tighten down your bearing bolts. Uh, and the torque that I've been using for these is 150 inch pounds for the bearing bolts.
Okay, so those are in place. And then we just remove the shims, checking the <clears throat> the gap against all four pole pieces. And it looks good here. Where you can see the gap. Looks very consistent. Check here in the other side also. Get right above it. And checking all four. It spins freely and looks good all assembled and we're going to put it upright on this little table and pull the wires out so we got it vertical now where we can pull it off this little bench with the crane. Okay, we've got the core hooked up on the crane here. I slid the workmate table out of the way this way. And we're going to swing the core over on top of the unit here. Get it in place. Okay, we're going to lower it down on here. Got it centered up. There we go. Okay, and she's down.